In this video, we're going to be having a look at the WD SN5000 NVMe solid state drive. Hi, I'm Lee. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. Now, um, this was sent to me by WD. Um, this is the four terabyte model. Uh, it's not the fastest drive you can get out there, but for the price, who doggy? So at the moment, I'm just having a look on Amazon. It is $325 for the four terabytes. So $325 for four terabyte solid state drive is pretty darn good. Now they claim that it can get to up to speeds of 5,500 megabits, megabytes, I can never remember which one is which, per second um, read writes, read speeds. Um, I've found my results far lower than that, but there's a caveat because this is more designed, it's designed to be placed in computers. Um, you can, I think you can put it in a PS5, which is kind of cool to get that much storage on there. Um, and obviously you can have it in external cases. Now, interestingly enough, I actually had different results depending on which case I had it in. And I'll get onto cases and stuff. I can probably do that in a different video. Um, so this is the case that I had when I started this process and I really like this case because it's really easy to just open it up and get the drive in there. Um, but with that case, the fastest speed I was getting was about 1400 um, write and about just under 1500 read. Uh, so that's what I was getting off of the Sabrent. Um, I was you know, convinced that it was probably reasons other than the drive as to why I was getting speeds that weren't as fast. And so I ordered one of these, the Acasis uh, one. And this one also you can just um, pop it open and get in there to put the drive in there, which is pretty, I really like toolless cases. I don't know why, but um, definitely as someone who gets sent drives every now and again to review, it's much easier to have it than to having to unscrew stuff. And in this case, with the exact same computer, the exact same test, uh, the exact same cable, I was getting 2700 read and about 2700 write. So not double, but close to double in, in terms of speeds results. The other thing to keep in mind is I'm on an M1 Max uh, laptop, a, a, a Macintosh laptop, Apple, do they still call it Macintosh? I think they do. And unfortunately, I think I've read that with these laptops, I am somewhat limited in terms of how much speed I can actually get out of an external drive for testing. So just the fact that I was getting you know, 2700 on both, I think that was really, really good. Um, yeah, not much else to say really about a solid state drive in terms of actually using it. Now, the way that I decided to test it was I chucked a couple of streams of 6K footage that I'd shot with the Pixis from my Pixis review and just sort of did sort of random editing and yep, on that external drive at 2700, did not have any issues. So in terms of actual practical use, worked just fine for me. So I think it is also available in one terabyte, two terabyte and 500 gig um, formats. So I'm just looking at the Amazon page at the moment. So the 500 gig is about $88. The two terabytes is 211 and the one terabyte is 141. And yet at the moment, so normally it's $351, but at the moment, today is the 28th of March, 2025. It is $325.57 on Amazon, which I think for four terabyte SSD with those kind of speeds is pretty good price. So yeah, my experience has been pretty good with it. Um, if you're interested, go have a look and I'll uh, catch you the next one. Safe and happy, whatever it is you're doing. NVMe SSD hard drive. Hard drive? Do we even call this? It's not really a hard drive anymore. It's a solid state drive. Sorry. Okay, let's try that again. In this video, we're going to be having a look at the N... <sighs> Why can't I get this right? 5000 MDME NVMe. Oh, come on. Solid state hard drive. Hard drive? It, it's not a hard drive. Solid state drive. It's just a solid state drive. It's just a solid state drive. Just go with that. In this video, we're having a look at the WDNSN, SN, for heaven's sakes, get it right. You forgot to say like and subscribe, but I mean, come on, if you're watching a, a YouTube video and you're not expecting to be liked and subscribed, well, like and subscribe, so.